I went out for a ride of ski touring with friends. Uh, I was in, um, in the Mont Blanc area, Chamonix, and, uh, and I brought these friends that they were used to come with me with e-bikes. You know, after half an hour, they said, you know, ski touring is not for us. It's too, uh, you know, the effort is too much. You know, we just want to enjoy. We just want to get to the Alpine hut, have a nice meal and then uh, get down. So then uh, on, the, on the night back, I was driving. I thought, but why not bring in something similar to a bike to, to the ski touring? Because this will open up and make more accessible a, a fantastic sport because it uh, really gives you the possibility to be immersed in the nature, do a nice workout, not too intense, and then enjoy the thrill of the descent. It's reading a lot of parameters, uh, including uh, the weight of the, the skier, the height of the skier, how you move, what are your movements. There is a full, uh, it's called IMU, Inertial Movement Unit inside with six axes that detects all this data. Also, we have a GPS, so we know exactly where each ski is its position and the algo predict when is the next move to come so that the, the step is as much as possible uh, as smooth as possible so that you don't have a sort of feeling of kick that will basically make you lose the balance. Uh, so please introduce yourself. We're aiming to revolutionize the ski mountaineering world. If I'm a user who wants to do more downhill, my goal would be going higher and higher. So this, uh, this device allows you at the same heartbeat, same energy consumed by your muscle, you can go up to four times higher. If you are instead, let's say, just wanting to do an easy tour and your, uh, your goal is just to keep a very low heartbeat, enjoy, talk with your friend next to you, then your goal is maybe to stay out three hours, four hours, right? So there are maybe users who want to cons are more concerned about the time, the range, can I do a, a tour of four hours, long tour? And people instead, they are more measuring on the meters. So we're trying to basically cope with both. 